it was an impressive show of strength for the Georgia Farm Bureau recently in Atlanta as hundreds of members attended Georgia Farm Bureau Day at the Capitol. It's a unique event that gives farmers and their state representatives a chance to both meet and to learn from each other. Damon Jones was there and has the story. Once a year, two very different worlds come together as farmers from all over the state make the trip to downtown Atlanta for a chance to have their voices heard at the state capitol. And just like previous years, the turnout was very impressive, a fact that isn't lost on legislators. Your Farm Bureau has done it again, 450 people show, uh, here and, and, and great turnout, great spirit and, uh, and a great dedication. I, I don't know that I've ever seen Farm Bureau so focused uh, as they are today on your key issues, but also on you know, that, that critical element of, of building relationships to the future. And that's really the main goal for this event, as it gives farmers an opportunity to interact face to face with their House and state representatives. It's the sort of teamwork the Georgia Farm Bureau is striving to create. We're not here as much to ask them to do things for us as much as we ask them to come and ask us for the information so they can make a wise decision on whatever bill they're voting on. So we, we're, we, we claim to be a teammate with them, uh, not knocking that door wanting something every day, but try to help them. Governor Nathan Deal was also on hand to discuss some of the major issues, including the new GATE program, a program that allows tax exemptions for agricultural equipment and production inputs. And while he is completely on board with the bill, he warns farmers not to abuse the system. Because if it becomes apparent that that is happening, then we will see action, I think, to retract what has been done on a good faith basis. And it will require all of us to act in good faith in order to make sure that the system is not abused. There was also good news for cattle producers, as a proposed Senate bill could give them something they spent years asking for. I'm also interested in the bill that's been introduced by the Senate Agriculture Chairman John Wilkinson, Senate Bill 97, which is a bill that would allow cattle producers to decide for themselves whether or not they would create a Georgia Agricultural Commodity Commission for beef. With so many issues to address, it's becoming more important that farmers show up for these type of events as it helps humanize the decisions legislators will have to make in the upcoming year. Uh, myself and the staff that hired at Farm Bureau, we can show up every day and talk about our policies that our farmers passed at our convention. But when those farmers come and say, yes, what they're telling you is true, and let me tell you my story and how it affects me on my farm and my community, which is are your constituents, that's when the power comes to it. And that's when it really means something to a legislator. This day isn't just for the producers, as House and Senate members also gain some much-needed perspective when meeting with people who are on the farm daily. And it's not that they're concerned, but they just uh, don't have a lot of information and a lot of knowledge the further we get away from the farm about where their food actually comes from. And I think it helps the legislators to hear from the people who produce the food, who work in the agricultural industry, and it helps them make more important, informed decisions when they cast a vote. They want to hear from us. And so uh, I, that's where I, you know, I, I really tried to challenge your members today, the fact that, that that's something we shouldn't be afraid of. I actually don't think we should even dread it. I, I think it's, it's one of those, look, we ought to look at it as the opportunity to tell agriculture's story. Because I can tell you, we, the farmers, uh, people love farmers. Reporting from Atlanta, I'm Damon Jones with the Georgia Farm Monitor.